Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem I'm going to be showing you today. We're going to find two numbers whose sum is 23 and whose product is a maximum. I've done a problem pretty similar to this, so I'm going to kind of go through this a bit quicker. If you want to check that out, I'll link to it here. But basically, we just need to come up with our two equations. One is going to be our restriction, which is pretty much given by the fact that we know that the sum of these two numbers is 23. And then the other equation that we want to come up with is going to be the function that we're going to try and maximize, which we know that we have to find the maximum of their product. So in other words, the function that we want to make as big as possible, we'll just call this a two multivariable function of X and Y. And the product of these two numbers, X and Y, would just be written as X times Y, right? That's all a product is. A product is just two numbers multiplied together. The result is the product. So this is how you would write the product of our two numbers that we'll call x and y. And this is the function that we want to maximize or find the global maximum of. Now the other piece that we want to take into account is the fact that these two numbers have a sum of 23. So what that means is if we take our two numbers x and y and we get their sum, which is just the two numbers being added together, those should add up to 23. So given this, we can take this equation and solve for one of our variables. So let's just solve for y, for example. It doesn't really matter which one you solve for, but I'm just gonna pick y. So doing that, subtracting x over to the other side will give us y equals 23 minus x. So since we know y equals 23 minus x, we can take this and plug it into our multivariable function over here, and that'll leave us with a single variable function, which we know how to maximize. So doing that will give us some new function, which uh, is just basically the single variable version of this, which will be x times, instead of having x times y, we now know y is 23 minus x. So we can do x times 23 minus x. Now doing that, we could kind of simplify this by distributing our x into our parentheses, which just gives us 23x minus x squared. So this is now the function that we want to maximize. We want to figure out where this is as big as possible. So to do that, we will find the critical number and then figure out basically if that's a maximum or a minimum. However, looking at this function, we can see that this would give us a parabola, right? Because we have an x squared term and x term. We don't have a constant here, but having the x squared term and the x term tells us that this is a parabola. And since the x squared term has a negative coefficient, it's minus x squared, that tells us it's a downward facing parabola. So if we think about what the shape of a downward facing parabola looks like, it would look something like this, right? And if we think about where our critical number would be on this function, the critical number is just going to appear wherever there is a slope of zero or wherever there is a maximum or a minimum, a local maximum or minimum. So we can see here that there's only going to be one critical number. And based on the fact that this parabola is kind of facing downward, it's clearly going to be a maximum. So I'm going to kind of skip over the testing that you could do, but I have made some videos on that. If you want to check those out, I'll put a link up here so you can see that. But really all I'm trying to say is we know that once we find our critical number, that's going to be a maximum. So let's do that. So to find the critical number of this function, we're just gonna take the derivative of it and set it equal to zero. So first we need to find the derivative, which the derivative of 23x is just 23. And then the derivative of negative x squared is just gonna be negative 2x based on the, pro the power rule. Now to find the critical number, we can just take our derivative, set it equal to zero, and solve for x. So if we add 2x to the other side, to both sides, I should say. It'll cancel over here and we'll just have 2x equals 23. Divide both sides by two gives us x equals 23 over two. So remember, we need to find two numbers, so we're not quite done yet. We know that x equals 23 over two is gonna be one of our numbers. Now we can take this and plug it into our equation that we have for y, and that'll give us our other number. So doing that, will give us y equals 23 minus 23 over 2. 23 is the same as 46 over 2. 
So 46 over two minus 23 over two would just be 23 over two. So both of our numbers, X and Y, would both be 23 over two. And that, that would be the two numbers whose sum is 23 and whose product is a maximum.